Mike Bond here at Bellator 286 Media Day with Samika Niba, and uh, another fight for you. Obviously, a bigger card for you fighting in California. Just what's the excitement being on like a big kind of tentpole event like this for Bellator? Yeah, you know, it's it's amazing. I just can't be more than grateful that Bellator put me on such a stacked card, and you know, the energy of all these fighters. It's it's amazing. How many times have you gotten questions about the matchup, and are you getting annoyed by that? No, no, not at all. You know, it's it's great. I, I'm just more than thankful that she took the fight, and and we're here fighting on. And we'll see you on Saturday, yeah. What did they tell you about that? Because obviously, you know, for people who may not know, you beat this girl as an amateur, and obviously uh, she's lost four of her last five as a professional. Um, are they saying that it's difficult to get you fights, and maybe this is like a, an opponent that they had to dig up for you? How'd they kind of explain it to you? Um, they gave me an opponent change. I think the original opponent that they gave me just had some issues getting here. Um, so they gave me her, and I was... I took it, you know, I wanted to fight on this card and I want to stay active, so, yeah. You're just grateful for the chance to compete at this point, right? A hundred percent, yes. <laughs> it seems like they've been keeping you, you know, relatively active and stuff, like how do you feel about how they've brought you along and is it for you at this point just more about the experience and like the opponents and things like that? Yeah, no, Bellator, they're amazing, everything so far, you know, they take care of their fighters and I think that they have my best interests at mind and, and it's, it's showing, you know, so I can't just keep winning and getting more fights and try and stay as active as I can, you know, um, hopefully end up in the rankings. Yeah. Have they given you a timeline on like, you know, or what's like the discussion with your team and with them? Like, what do you kind of want in terms of maybe like the next 12 months of your career? Yeah, you know, I want to stay as active as I can. So fighting every, you know, three to four months, that's amazing. That would be keeping my, you know, keeping me active, my mind active and just um, staying in the game, yeah. Well, I mean, if you keep doing that, you're going to be all over the record books. Like, I already, I kind of track the stats for Bellator and stuff with our things, and like, you already have, you know, second most finishes, you know, up there with the knockouts. Uh, when you see that, like, are these things you're aware of at all? No, I don't, I honestly don't pay attention to that, you know, I, I, I stick to my training, keep getting my skills set up higher, you know, get my mind right, and I think it shows in my performances. Just keep it humble, right? <laughs> Try to, try to. <laughs> is, is there any big head moments? Like, do you ever have to pull yourself in? Or at this point, too early in your career to worry about stuff like that? Not yet, you know, and I hope it stays like that. You know, I like to show, I'm a mom as well, so I like to show, you know, confidence and composure. It takes you a long way. Just one kid or two? Um, I have a daughter, and then I have a foster son as well. Yeah. Oh. He's 15 months. Yeah, he's a little little guy. <laughs> How's the sleep schedule going through camp? And so, the, so that was a different experience for this camp and the last experience, uh, or last camp. But, you know, it's it's all part of the process, finding the balance, and I, I think I've been able to do that. Uh, it, makes, it must make it easier to roll out of bed every day, though, right? Like, knowing what you're fighting for? Oh, 100%. Those are my whys. You know, it does it, it's, it's not hard to know what I'm doing this for. Um, fight week, honestly, this is so funny. It's like my break away from them, you know, even though the anxiety and, you know, emotions that come with this week it's been a little bit of a break as well <laughs> yeah so that you know getting a fist fight is your break yeah. being a mom's the hardest job on earth oh man definitely <laughs> props to the moms <laughs> so when you're fighting an opponent obviously you know the last one was an amateur fight this one's professional um do you look too much back at that one or do you feel like 2018 is too far ago yeah you know four years is a long time we've both got more experience we both got more skill we've both you know I, I feel have a stronger mindset, so it's a it's a completely different fight. I'm just taking it as my fifth professional fight, you know, and and we'll see what happens on Saturday. Do you look at that performance and say like, hey, I want to do things different. I want to do things better here and there, or do you just wipe the slate clean? No, that was a great fight, you know. Um, fought for a great promotion, got great experience from that. But yeah, just clean slate, different fight, you know, going in there just to get my win. Yeah. And, uh, do you think Bellator is going to be going back to Hawaii this year? Or do you think you might have to wait until next year to fight at home? What do you think? Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know if they could do it twice in a year. Um, I would love to fight again in Hawaii. Yeah, fighting for my home crowd, there's there's no other feeling to fight for my people and, and the energy that they bring. Is there a different kind of pressure, though, there? Like, you talk to Ali Malay, and she talks, you know, about how it's just, it gets crazy sometimes. Like, is it nice to maybe not do every fight there and mix it up a bit? Well, she's amazing. She does, like, you know, her walkouts are over the top and give you goosebumps and you know I'm, I'm not at that point yet so so when I fought in April it, it was it was just another fight you know it was a little weird just having a half an hour plane ride over but no I, I had my daughter there too so I was even more comfortable it, it was great um, I think when it gets to maybe a, a different level of where I am and who I am then then maybe that comes the pressure but no I, I, I enjoy every part of it do you look at that and say like I, I want to have that moment for myself one day oh 100 percent to have that experience and to give that emotion to all the people in that crowd it, it's, it's amazing 
what do you think it's going to take to get there? Like, just keep winning? Or, I mean, I think, you know, uh, the quality of competitions you have to change too, right? <laughs> For sure. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, as I keep getting my wins, you know, I think Bellator, they have me on the right track to get me to that point. And I feel like, you know, Scott Coker, they got they've done this many times before, right? Like developing prospects. So do you look at them and some people may question it from the outside, but you trust the process, right? Oh, trust the process, 100%. You know, they've only but taken great care of me so far and and I can't only but just put on performances for them. Yeah. So what's your, your perfect rod? I know you guys would love to go out there and just throw one punch and it'd be done, but like in a realistic manner, how do you see this going and what's kind of your ideal end? Uh, you know, I, it's funny. Everybody keeps asking me, what's the finish going to be? And every time I predict, it's like the opposite almost. So, you know, I just go out there put my skills to, to the test and I think that the, the performance comes the finish comes so it's predict a decision and then you get the finish yeah, yeah okay <laughs> there we go opposite nice yeah for sure. appreciate the time great to meet you for the first time and uh, best of luck thank you so much thank you <laughs>